So blockchain has been uh, around or the core technology for blockchain has been around since the 1990s. It was only in 2009 when a person or someone with the name Satoshi Nakamoto uh, invented or invented blockchain uh, using existing uh, security technologies such as cryptography and digital signatures. Who this person is, is a mystery. Nobody knows who is Satoshi Nakamoto, whether it is a person or is it a team or is it a group of people who started or launched a blockchain, but it is still a mystery in as of as of now, as of today. So the team or Satoshi uh, Nakamoto launched what we all of us fairly are aware of a virtual cryptocurrency called Bitcoin. So that was started in 2009. Uh, and overall and since then on uh, the technology has developed uh, many different industries have realized that blockchain can be something that could be used uh, in many different industries and many different industries have taken on board blockchain technology. So financial sector was one of the first um, industries to kind of uh, get on board with, with blockchain. And uh, the technology has since progressed substantially across different industries. So what is blockchain? I mean, is it like a software that you can download and install uh, like any other software or is it is it an app or what is it? So to answer that, um, it, 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 you can consider it as a software or as an app. It is, for example, you can see on this slide, there are many different types of uh, blockchain platforms uh, that I have shown like Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Corda, Hyperledger, Neo, and so on. So these are different platforms which you can download and install, uh, but it is not as simple as installing uh, a software on your computer, uh, but it, it is possible. These are kind of frameworks or platforms that are available uh, for to easily kind of um, install and start with the uh, blockchain. So let's let's now talk a little bit about what are the benefits of this technology. First, I have mentioned some of these already. Firstly, it is cryptographically secure. Uh, I mean, I would like to compare this with you uh, the daily uh, online banking or internet banking that you do. With internet banking, uh, we use similar cryptography or security technologies uh, to make a transaction safe or secure. So we use the same technology here as well. The benefit, the other benefit is uh, it is a way to permanently record something and make it tamper proof. So something that is stored on the blockchain can remain there for the whole eternity. It is a very trustworthy platform because you know that there has been no tampering that has that has occurred. Uh, transactions are faster. Uh, it is possible to uh, reduce the transaction cost because using a blockchain technology, you can in fact uh, remove middlemen from a number of uh, business processes. Uh, it also provides transparency, uh, visi visibility uh, of the transactions as well as the data. Uh, and there is no central authority to kind of control. It is a very distributed uh, architecture. So there are multiple copies of blockchains that could be that are shared or stored um, on the on the internet. So there is no single point of failure. So if one uh, computer holding the having the blockchain uh, crashes or gets hacked, there could be other hundred copies of the same data that is distributed throughout the network. So which is why it makes the data uh, also very uh, data very very much secure. So that's a, a basic uh, outline or background of the technology on blockchain that I wanted to cover. Uh, I tried to I have tried to keep it very uh, simple and uh, easy to understand. So I think what we can do now, uh, I, I'm happy to take questions specifically from the HR uh, perspective okay. or or such. So Priyanka, uh, up to you. Um, we can begin a Q and A session.